Okay, so after I put in the four strips of chicken, you know, I washed my hands to get all the gunk off, and I grabbed some tongs. If you don't have tongs, you can use a fork, but you have to be very careful because you'll be sticking your hand even closer to the hot oil, and you don't want it to burn you. So you're going to make, you're going to check and see when it's about, you know, sort of browned to flip it. You're going to flip it a few times so that you can get a nice golden brown, but you don't want to overcook it and get it burned either. Like I said before, this does not take very long at all, so, you know, and the, the more you put in, the hotter it'll get. Now, if you were to make all this and you were to make the potato in the microwave, um, it would all come out a lot faster, of course, but, you know, I like to make it in the oven because it, I think it tastes better, but you can make it wherever you want. But like I said before, the potato would take six minutes in the microwave, so, I would start your broccoli first before anything, and then I would put, you know, the potato in the microwave while you're cooking the chicken. Because as you can see, the chicken really does not take very long at all to make. So. So the chicken has, you know, brown some. So we're just gonna check it. I like to take my tongs and take it as the biggest piece to check to see if it's cooked. And that looks cooked to me. Make sure it's white inside. You don't want anything. You should know if it's not cooked, like it will look raw. So we're just gonna let that cook for a little bit. And when, we're get, when we take it off, we're gonna put it on a plate. Not the same thing that we had it on before because that's got salmonella contaminated. So some, unfortunately, some of the bread comes fell off, but you'll still have the flavor. But, uh, it. I'll set it there. Now, what's good about these tongs is they have this little stand so I can just set them on there before I start cooking. We're going to stir the broccoli a little bit. To just, you know, get it all around there. Feel how it's coming along. It's coming along pretty good. And our potatoes are actually almost done too, so we're doing pretty well on time. And what you'll have on the pan is a lot of breadcrumbs and a lot of stuff like this. When it gets to be too much, you'll want to take it off. And you want to be very careful when you take it off. You can't just throw it down the drain. So you'll grab like, um, like a Tupperware or something and just pour it into the Tupperware and let it cool before you pour it down the drain or in the trash can, whatever you do at your own home. I don't really know, so... You want to do that. Now we got about 30 seconds on the potatoes. So I'll get my oven mitts out. Check those. Bring them over here. Get our knife out. Put them on a paper plate. Okay. So now I'm just going to pull this towards me. I'm going to need that one. And the time is going off. Now I'll take the potato. And we'll test one first. So you open up the foil and you'll see all the steam coming out. You're just going to pierce it with your knife to see if it's cooked. And it's all to your liking. Like, I would like mine to go in for, like, a little bit more. Just to, sorry, it's hot. Just to get cooked more and so that it'll split completely. So I'm going to put mine back in for about five minutes. And I'm going to finish cooking the rest of the chicken. So I think the baked potato is ready now, so let's check it and see. here and we're just gonna pierce it and yes it's smooth so that's all we want it to you know when you put your knife in just to be smooth like that so those are ready so I can just keep it to keep it hot just wrap it up 
back in the foil. I want to make sure I turn off my oven so I don't burn down the house. Mm -hmm. And pull out the rest of the potatoes. And then um, we're going to grab the broccoli. And we're going to take a col colander. strain it and when we pour the water into there we're gonna make sure we pour it away from ourselves so that it doesn't burn us. So the broccoli looks great. So I'm gonna put this just in like a bowl so, or a paper plate you know we like to use paper plates because it's easy to clean up so we'll just take that so now I'm gonna serve some food for myself and I'll show you now just how to season it. I'm just gonna put some broccoli on there. Grab a potato, hot. That's hot too. Put it on there. And I'm going to just put like butter and sour cream on my potato and some butter on my broccoli. Now, in, now I'm sure you guys all know how to make a baked potato, like when you mash it and stuff. So I'm just going to cut it and I just like to open mine like this, put some stabs into it. And then we're going to take some butter Drop it on there. Also drop some on there. And we'll do the same with the sour cream. Just like a dollop. And now I take a fork. And I'm just gonna, it's going everywhere. But we'll just mash it all in there like that. You could throw on some salt or pepper or whatever. And then I'm just gonna put some chicken on there. I'm just gonna grab a few pieces of chicken. That's the one that I tested to make sure that it was good. And then there you go. You have your baked potato broccoli and your honey mustard chicken. So now it's time for me to try. So we're gonna try this chicken. By the way, I got the honey mustard chicken from Rachel Ray. She's great. Love her. Mmm. It's real good. Some broccoli on there. Broccoli's perfect. Big potato. Delicious. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Paige Hunter. And enjoy your dinner.